Hello, today we have a short video of a uh, Habarati 46 Maya 2, built in 2003. She's currently lying at Hamble Point Marina with uh, Transworld Yachts on our walkways. We just climb on board and we show you some of the features of this lovely boat. Uh, she has the complete hydraulics package for the main and the, the head sail, the Genoa. So she really is push button sailing. Uh, the 46 is a really popular blue water cruiser. She has Maya 2 has all, everything you need to spend extended periods at sea. Washing machines, water makers, freezer, fridge and loads of storage place. I'll just take you up the Selden rig which has a discontinuous rig so every wire is separate which allows them to be replaced economically and quickly. There's a ray dome keep going up triple spread a rig all the way to the top there there's a few aerials up there um, namely the RR splitter which provides uh, DSC and um, single site SSB radio and uh, eliminates the need to have lots of antennas on the spreaders or on the push pits uh, which keeps the lines very simple on Maya in 2011 she had this lovely mainsail put in EMS from Elvstrom which is fully battened vertically fully battened has a spinnaker pole, although she only she is supplied with a cruising chute. As you can see with the hydraulic systems, there's no lines being led aft. She has lovely clean teak decks. We come forward. The Durards have been replaced with these solar panelled uh, vents, which are capable of replacing the air inside the boat very, very quickly. It's always nice and fresh inside Maya 2. Up on the bow, uh, the anchor windlass with the deck controls there, 75 metres of galvanised chain. She has twin bow rollers, port and starboard, and also comes with a bow sprit, which at the moment is neatly stowed in the anchor locker. There's the hydraulic further for the head sail. You may have noticed on the fore deck she has the provision for a baby stay to be rigged. That's temporary. Um, when not being used, the baby stay stows very nicely to the base of the mast, which gives you a clear fore deck. Here we have the stay set, uh, the running back stays for use with that same baby stay. These can be rigged further aft to tension against the baby stay. As with all Haberassis, aluminium framed tough and glass windscreen, so the centre section opens. Provides a really safe, dry and warm area in the cockpit, sailing in any climates. Maya 2 has electric winches for the Genoa sheets, the primaries here. And further down, the main sheet winches, right there, are also electric. All within easy reach of the helm station. Also had the mainsail track and car for the main sheet for the boom. This boat can easily be sailed by one person. On the aft deck here, plenty of room for lying out or storing or even prepping dive gear, whatever you want to do. Uh, the gin and tonic seats, important extra. Push pit and pull pit, as you can see, very clean throughout Maya 2. No clutter of aerials. This hydraulically adjusted backstay leads down to the integrated swimming platform with a stainless steel boarding ladder. Below the aft deck here is plenty of storage. This runs from one side of the boat to the other. Accessed via these two watertight deck hatches. Just like to take you and show you the uh, helm station. So standing here, I have uh, I can reach the Genoa sheets, the main sheet, the tracks behind me. I can reef both sails using the buttons on the right hand side of this picture. Got the autopilot, so I can actually leave this station if need be go and help down below or even just to go and hang out on the bow. Look down there we have the controls for the bow thruster and the engine controls. 
And as you can see, the view forward is really very good, unobstructed. So here we are down below in the main saloon of Maya 2. Uh, just give you a quick look around. There's plenty of living space in this area. On the port side, we have a L-shaped settee which has storage behind those cushions and also below. Uh, there's a small infill that fits next to the table here, make it into a double berth. This is the main bulkhead, all finished in solid mahogany wood, discreetly placed mood lighting uh, throughout the boat. On the starboard side is a three-person settee, although in, re in real terms you could probably get about five people along there. Okay, the U-shaped galley is just down the companionway on the starboard side. Uh, this allows this this sh shape of um, galley is called a sea galley and uh, keeps you secure in all sorts of waves. And when the boat's healing, when you're sailing, it also means every cupboard, of which there are a fair few, is within easy reach of a person standing in that space. Double stainless steel sinks, a large refrigerated unit, and a three burner cooker with grill and oven. Just come across again to the port side where we have the chart table. Uh, behind the chart table is another ice box, which you'll probably use as a freezer. So there's an opportunity to store plenty of food on board this boat, along with all her other systems that keep you uh, living afloat uh, for weeks at a time. Here's your main distribution panel, 12 volt and 24 volt systems on Maya 2. It's got guards there to stop you falling into that and turning on pumps and all sorts by accident. Looking forwards, uh, we have a Raymarine Pathfinder radar and chart plotter there. And also there is a Lorenz standalone uh, weather system and GPS plotting system. So you've got redundancy here two separate systems running independent independently of each other let's just show you a large chart table which opens up moving forward on the Habarasi 46 we can see she offers a wealth of accommodation for crew and guests on the port side a bunk room two long wide berths with lee cloths plenty of hanging space in here opening port lights and also climate control. Just across we have a well-appointed heads compartment with a marine toilet, holding tank, heater outlet for drying oilies and separate shower compartment, hot and cold mixer, water, fresh water available of course. There's also a, a shower curtain just here to help keep the water in. Right at the bow we have the V-berth. There is an infill to make it into a double cabin. Storage above and below. Opening deck hatch. If we look under the bunk we can see the side power installation. There's the bow thruster there. Plenty of storage. Just inboard of the walkthrough on the Havarasi 46 you have your uh, water maker controls and um, pre-filters and pressure gauges also your 230 volt distribution panel below this area is the main access to the engine bay which as you can see is really really very good there's also access uh, in forward of the engine uh, via the main saloon let's give you an overview of this space all sound insulated Engine hours of the Volvo Penta are to be confirmed. Moving aft, we come into what could be regarded as the owner's cabin for this Havarasi 46. I'm just going to come through slowly so you can see the condition of the woods in this area, which is very good. Uh, six foot standing room, 
back here. Two plus one berth arrangement, plenty of storage, all finished in solid mahogany. Come through to an ensuite heads compartment if you like. Uh, separate shower stall, obviously hot and cold water available, um, sink, electric, electric drain, there's your teak grate and the marine heads. Just have a, a quick walk around the bottom of Maya 2 here. Uh, she has a draft of 1.88 meters uh, when empty. The keel ballast is 6,600 kilograms. You can see she's got a nice clean bottom. Skeg hung rudder. And the three bay blade folding gory prop. Ambassador rope cutter. See, there's an awful lot of uh, inlets in some areas. Uh, one of the features of the Haberassi is that the deck scuffers drain underneath the boat. This stops you getting those unsightly drip marks down the side of your top sides. Keeps them all nice and shiny. The uh, overall displacement of the Haberassi 46 is 16,500 kilograms. There's your bow thruster. <laughs>